Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the ROG Crosshair 6 Hero AM4 gaming motherboard. It features the AM4 socket and the X370 chipset, so it's ready for the latest AMD Ryzen CPUs, but it will also work with 7th generation A series and Athlon CPUs. It supports up to 64 gigabytes of dual channel DDR4 memory at up to 3200 megahertz. And that's with the Ryzen CPU. If you're using a seventh generation Athlon or A-series CPU, you'll be limited to just 2400 megahertz. One of the cool features of the CPU socket on this particular board is that there are mounting points for both AM4 and older AM3 style CPU coolers. There are two ASUS safe slot PCIe slots, which add increased support and rigidity for larger GPUs. It also features a PCIe 3.0 X4 M.2 slot when used with a Ryzen CPU. If you're using an Athlon or an A-series CPU, it will be SATA only. There's RGB lighting integrated to the rear I.O. shield and the chipset. There is also two RGB LED headers to add even more lighting control to your build. There are also dedicated water flow and pump speed sensors for monitoring a custom water cooling loop. And as with all the rest of our ROG boards, the Crosshair 6 Hero features Supreme FX 8-channel HD audio with an optical output. On the rear I.O., there are 14 USB ports, 2 USB 3.1, including a Type-C connection, 8 USB 3.0 ports, and 4 USB 2.0 ports. There is also a USB 3.1 front panel connector and a USB 3.0 front panel connector. That is a lot of USB ports. Needless to say, you probably won't need a USB hub if you're using this board. And the last thing I want to mention is that on the rear I.O. there's an M.2 slot you can use to add an E-key Wi-Fi module which is sold separately. So if you're looking for a strong foundation for your next AMD Ryzen gaming build, the Crosshair 6 Hero would be a great place to start. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about this board or any of our other boards, go ahead and ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.